little people of the internet, my name is Caitlin. Welcome if you're new. Welcome if welcome back if you're not. Today, guess what we'll be doing today? Hi, <laughs> here it's me. Caitlin's gonna take over my channel now. Today we're going to be sharing our writing because we've both been published in two books with our short flash fiction stuff, and we're gonna be reviewing our old work and seeing what we did this year. Yeah, we're gonna so. be reading our old work, reading our new work, and also reading our old work and seeing yeah. how much we've grown as writers. And then we're gonna rate our old work out of one to five. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the first book that we're published. Let's do in. one out of ten. Oh, one out of ten. All right, do you want to do yours first? Um, no, do yours. All right, mine sucks. Okay. I liked mine. mine's like a hundred and page like hundred and ten or something. Okay. Yeah, mine was called It Kills, and it's very cheesy. But then again, so was I. <laughs> Something scuttles under my skin. It hurts. The pain courses through my body. It is spreading through my body. I don't want to die. Not today. I try to stand, but the pain just brings me down. Help, I call, but I know there's no one coming. I know I'm going to sit here until I die, writhing in pain. Help, I try again, but still no one answers. I feel cool liquid run down my leg. Blood. I'm slowly bleeding out. I try to call for help again, but I can't find my voice. Everything's white, then black. What was the theme? Uh, Mission con contamination. contamination. What would you rate that? Um, I out of ten, I would give it like an eight. I personally 5. would give it a five because Seven, I use I like it. I use body in the same sentence twice, and it makes me. So I like it. It was it was good. Now, where's mine? I don't know where yours is. Here it is. You want to read yours? Only a few I love her different. so much. Okay, so mine is people. The people shielding glass. Okay. Oh, and also we had like sentence starters for these. Yeah. Um, since we were in the sixth grade, so, um, which I don't yeah. want to go to the next grade. Okay. The rash is spreading, pulsing, hurting. As I sit on the table, I can't stop looking at the people sealed in, sealed in glass. Is that going to happen to me? No response. I spot a girl with her clothes ripped, torn. I leap off. I approach her. Her face is green. My stomach lurches. I keep my eyes on her blood red lips. I tap on the glass, her eyes open. She mouths something, but I am lost hopelessly in fear. Help me. What are scientists doing to her? Are they going to do that to me? As I think, that everything goes black. I absolutely love that so much. What do you think about it? What, what would you change now? I, as I think, everything goes black. Um, what are the scientists doing to her? Are they going to do that to me? I think I would change that a little bit because it kind of sounds a little cheesy, cringy. Yeah. I like it. Um, I think it's fine the way it is. What would you what would you rate it? I'd rate it a nine. I really like it or an eight. Seven point five. I like for it. mine I would change body to a different word the second time. No. All right, we're gonna read Caitlin's first this time. Yay! Wait, no, we're reading yours first. Nope, I'm reading yours first because no. we read mine first okay, last time. Fine. So, okay, so mine is there's no place like home. My hands are bloody and I'm all over, uh, and I'm all alone. Tears run down my cheeks. I keep my eyes closed tight. No matter what I do, the tears won't stop. I want to go home. I'm trapped and alone. My breathing starts to get rapid. I lay my head in my hands. Tears running down my cheeks even faster now. A million thoughts and possibilities run through my mind, all of them terrifying. I wrap my arms around myself for comfort. My tears are like a river with no end. Take me home. I take a deep breath. I want to go home. The, the theme for this year was trapped. Yeah. Um. So you could do like you're a tra you trap someone or you're trapped in a room. So what would you reflect on this like? I think, I think it was pretty good. What would you rate yours? I eight. I would rate it like a nine. Eight. I really liked it. I like it too. Oh, I just wish it wasn't a hundred words so that I could expand yeah. it. Yeah. I have like a doc with a bunch of my like flash fiction stories, and I expand it on mine. Oh, I'm gonna you want to know? We should also do. What should we do? Should we write a flash fiction? No, story? we should. You know that we okay. So in our ELA um thing, we wrote um a little a hundred word story before we wrote this to get yeah. like a little warm up, and I think we should read that to you guys because. Me and Lily, we did a competition of what was best in class, and we tied, and I think our stories are, like, really good for yeah, that, too. Yeah, we can go get... Oh, it's on my computer. I yeah. Have it. Okay, so I'm going to read mine. Mine's <laughs> called 492 Days. You'll see why. Uh, let me tell you, I loved this. I heard it. I I also wrote my um story when I was crying at um 12 a.m., so that's where I got that, but her thing is so good. I love it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I don't even have to read it again. It's a 10. 
492 days without her. 492 days in this empty, dark place. 492 days since they took me. I pound my fist on the iron door. I howl her name into the darkness. I've done this every day for 492 days. No one ever answers. I scream. I scream, why? What did I do? But they never answer. Every day I pray they didn't take her. That's when the tears come. They always come. Every day for 492 days. They envelop me in sadness and pain. They try to drown me. They try to suffocate me. One day they will succeed. I love it. First off, mystery. It's scary. You're thinking about someone you love, but you can't protect them because you can't protect yourself. I love it. It's relatable. <laughs> it's probably my favorite thing I've written today. That or my other flash fiction story called He. Um, let me go find the other thing we did for English. I don't remember what mine was called. I don't, mine was like the dolls Sweet but deadly something. calls. Sweet oh yeah. Dead. Sweet but deadly calls. That's what was mine called? Calls. I was thinking about the dolls or something. Yours was dolls. I can't read stuff about dolls because it genuinely I like to tell my cousins that their dolls are going to kill them initially. <laughs> my cousin is like I seven. I can quickly grab my phone if you can't find it. I can log into my. I just kind of. I don't even know where my phone is. Is it this one? No. No. Um. Do, 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 do. No. I lost my phones in the in the wave no. of books. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> oh, scary story. Here we go. The killing that I called it. Hers was the killing. I'll find mine while you do. The, yeah, you find yours. yours. All right, so mine. We had to write this like story for English, and she made hers really long. Um, I didn't. I made mine really scary. But, okay, so I'm going to read mine. Mine's about dolls. We, so what we did was we had 100 words to start it out, and then we, what we got to do is we got to expand it, yeah. and I thought it was really cool. Here, let me switch my All right, do you want me to go first? Yeah. Moonlight streamed through my window. I stood up for a glass of water. A creak came from down the hallway. Mommy and Mama aren't home. What was that? I stepped into the hallway. Alex's door was closed. I kept creeping down the hallway. Skylar's door was slightly ajar. Noises came from her open door. Shuffle, creak, shuffle. I slowly slipped into her room. Hey, Scott. My eyes widened in fear as she turned around. Her eyes looked beady like a doll's. Her face was blank. Her doll eyes stared at me as if looking into my soul. Her doll sat in a circle around her with her eyes red and vicious. Scott, we've been waiting, she said, her voice deep and smooth, unlike its normal squeakiness. We've been waiting, the doll said after her. We? I gulped. Yes, we've been waiting. Alex's voice said from behind me. I was frozen in fear, unsure of what to do. Something hit my head. Darkness consumed me. The last thing I felt was blade against my skin. Yeah, I'm trying to find mine. Well, you I... could type it. Sweet and deadly calls. Is it that one? It it's has really long. to be. You gonna, are you just going to do Oh, that's the one I edited. You should just do the 100 word one because yeah. it's easier. And I, I like it better. No offense. No, I just I just edited it to my character being a lesbian. Um... <laughs> Why don't you type it in the search bar? No, because it's right here. Oh, okay, there. Okay, so Caitlin's gonna read hers. Okay, mine is the sweet the deadly calls. And let me tell you what the slide let me show you what the slide looks like. My teacher is kinda creeped out about it. It's just blood running down. I think our, our teacher I think my teacher our teacher thinks that we're insane. Okay, so That's the I'm, setting. Can I read the setting? Can I no, just read the part? Okay, I'll read the setting after. I'll read it later. Okay. Just read the actual story. Okay. Um <laughs> Turn it round. My brother doesn't do anything. Okay. My brother dragged me across the street where our friends were waiting. Get in the Halloween spirit, he said. I didn't say I don't say anything and allow him to drag me, my robe dragging on the ground behind me. He lets me um go when we get across the street. He walks over to our friends and said, Why, what's up, Andrew? Colin says, high-fiving my brother. What's up, Colin? Andrew says. They both smile mischievously at each other. Neither of them pay me any attention. Alice walks up to me, taking taking her long red gloves off. Can you believe they're dragging us into this, she asks. No one dares to go in the house. It's creepy and old. No, one's, no one who has ever gone in has come out. I nod. Yeah, I know. I've heard the stories, I say. A few minutes pass while our brothers plan something. Me and Alice just talk. Will the Red Brothers turn to us? Let's go in now. They both say grabbing our arms, pulling us onto the property. I don't have a, feel, a good feeling about this, Sam, Alice says. Neither do I, I say. They don't let go of our arms till we are inside and the door sh is shut. They leave us at the door and walk further into the house. Me and Alice turn to open the door 
um, and bolts out, but when we turn the knob, it's locked. You morons, you locked us out, I shout as me and Alice run to them. Do you have any idea? I, I'm cut off by my brother putting his hands over my mouth, then I look over Colin, who has a worried expression, and I wrote expression twice. <laughs> what is their problem? They pull us to the door. Listen, they whisper. There was noise coming from the basement. Alice grabbed my arm, digging arm, digging her long fingernails into my skin. I was sure she was making me bleed, but I didn't dare to look and take my eyes off the basement door. Everything's gonna be okay, my brother whispers unsurely. No, the noise wasn't screaming; it was talking, and if someone, as if someone was talking to themselves or us. The voice was like an echo, and it got louder, showing it was coming upstairs, coming for us or for me. We all looked around and found a closet close by and ran into it. The noise, the noises come louder, come, came closer. We all shifted behind clothes, even though they smelled rotten. As it came closer, we realized it was calling my name. Its voice sounded sweet and calming, but I knew better than to answer its calls. The door slowly but surely opened. I really like that one. What would you rate yours? A nine. What would I you rate mine? I give it a nine. I, it's a ten out of ten. I love your story. She always loves my stories. I feel like that you're just like do you actually love them or did you just think that you have to tell me that you love them? No, I actually I will not sugarcoat anything. I love your stories. Yours are really interesting and scary. Not gonna lie. I I think I like to imagine I like to think about horror stories a lot more than a normal person would. I think of a lot of dark things and then I write them. <laughs> because, you know, what else would you do? Most of my short stories are dark. Yeah. Um, also, the the killing, the one I read uh, before Caitlin read hers, I um was definitely based on that one episode in Jesse where there were the evil dolls and Zoe oh, I hated that episode. I love that episode I so actually, much. Actually, I will recommend a book to you people because I know y'all are bookworms. If you Most don't like if you don't like horror stories, um, but you like thrilling things, I have a thrilling horror story. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called Dolls Bones. What was that? The Dollhouse? The co Collection. Collection. I think it's by K.R. Alexander. Oh, wow, I remember that book. I think, yeah. It's a super good book. It actually it. has, actually this year or last year, because it's 2021 now. 2021! 2021! Um, okay, so, um, not too long ago, another, a sequel came out, and, um, it's really good, and you should read the collection. Um, it's a really good book about dolls, and it's kind of scary, but it's more of, it's like a mystery murder mystery murder i yeah. would say like mystery horror and it's a really good um story but if you don't like dolls i would not read it at night or read it at all because i kind of have nightmares but it's okay hope you guys enjoyed it this means video it's me yeah boy <laughs> i love writing and i'm always self-conscious about showing my writing but she's here so i did it um so thanks caitlin you're welcome and i hope you guys enjoyed our writing um what would you rate them rate them yeah, comments rate them. down below rate them down below um what what do you what 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 emoji you get to see um, you're the guest of the fourth video we know today. You know what, since it was our horror stories, I would say do the um smiling emoji, like just the normal smiling emoji, but it's flipped upside down. Is that an emoji? I'll show you. It's an emoji, it's for Apple. If not, then just do the normal smiling emoji. It's upside down. Oh, oh it's yeah. an upside down smiley. I think my and it's me kinda... just gonna put that on my face. <laughs> and it's like really creepy and people say that's the emoji people use when they're gonna run over your grandma but like i find it really creepy and um kind of cool um so put that down below anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um are you writers do you guys write uh let me know down below and if so you can send us some stuff and we'll read it for yeah you. we'll read it if you want we'll keep it anonymous if you really shut want. up daisy um <laughs> my god really um, but I, I'm gonna make this episode three in my writing series, but, um, so yeah, if you guys want us to react to your writing, uh, and send us a link. And we, don't we forget, <laughs> and don't be like Lily, have high expectations for yourself, okay? Don't let yourself down, okay? You got this. I believe <laughs> anyway, in you. Anyway, bye! <laughs>